Well, this is Tony Gray. Now, Tony, we've been hearing from Emilio, who clearly knows quite a lot about this, this disorder. Here we've got a wonderful example of, of some bees in this kind of, sort of pocket hive where they don't worry, they won't get out, they're quite safe. Tell us a little bit more about it. Emilio sort of wet our appetites for it there. Yes, it's a. Um it's mostly in America, this colony collapse disorder. Mm. In the UK, um, however, we are getting about 20% losses mm. for the last year. That's high. That's a fifth, of, fifth of our colonies every year. Yes, that's about that's what it's been. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's probably due, in fact, to this varroa parasite they have. It's this little mite. It's a little mite which lives on the bee, and it weakens them, and they get like, um, like an immune deficiency syndrome, mm. like AIDS, really. Mm. And the whole colony then dies. Um, this one seems healthy, so the queen's obviously in the middle there she's somewhere. She's actually down here. Uh, I did see her just a minute ago. <laughs> Come as out, usual, she just disappeared. There she is, there. You one with a spot little, on her back. Little, yes, you pick that up. Little tiny... Yeah, you see her? There she is. She's got this sort of luminous spot on her back. That's the queen with all the others around her. That's it. So they're now going, of course, into their sort of winter That's hibernation. Yes. They're bit, closing down they? now, yeah. yes. So, so we haven't got any drones in here, any males. Because they've already. This is, you know, it's cruel. This is. <laughs> they like, don't do much the drones anyway, do they? And we do something very vital. <laughs> <laughs> and then the we women get kicked who do out. All the work, yeah. All the workers are women. Aren't all they? the workers are female, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, tell us what, as gardeners, then, and as people at home, we can do to help our bees if we can't have a hive. That's it. Well, the the best thing to do is to plant flowers that insects like bees like. So things like a hebe, and sedum especially. Flowering this time of year, which is good. Asters. Asters. Mm -hmm. Heather, anything which produces a lot of pollen, nice open flowers so the bees can get in there and drink. And of course that'll attract other beneficial insects like um, hoverflies and other things to your garden. So you, you're aware of this when you're planting your garden, are you, Amelia? You, you're am, doing actually. open flowers and well, nectar flowers. Since, right? um, since getting involved with Butterfly World, I planted lots of Michaelmas daisies mm. and, um, and nettles, right. actually, but lots of lavender yes. as well. And it's amazing, the bees and the butterflies came mm. immediately. immediately yes, and Budlia, yeah, I put yeah. 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 And Budlia for the adults and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. And bees yeah. for the adults yeah. and the nettles for the, the larvae. And these, of course, little nest boxes with holes in that they can overwinter in. That's right. This is for lace wings. And this is a bumblebee nest, yeah. so that's mm. bumblebees that just doing that. for the winter. Now, tell us about this adopt hive system, which is, sounds incredibly interesting. Well, it's basically armchair beekeeping. Yeah. What happens is um, we run the colonies, and we're doing that so that we can produce more colonies because there's this, there's this loss all the time. So we can try and keep the numbers up. That's yeah. it. Um, and uh, you can buy a share in a hive, basically, and you get the honey at the end of the year. So and we get, get. Is this it? This is your honey. honey. That's the honey. How wonderful! Look at that. That's so if you satisfying. if you adopt a hive, I think we'll all have to do that. Yes. We'll have to agree to adopt a hive. And we get some money, and we make sure that our bee colonies keep going. So for more details on how you can help save the British bee, log on to itv.com forward slash Alan, and try and do your bit, and we'll then you'll be able to get some money. My great thanks to Amelia Fox Thank and to Tony Gray. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much.